Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Friday spot here on Pagan Perspective. This week we're talking about once borns and the old ways. And also this here little here thing called the Witch's Read of Chivalry. Um, now I actually have read this, it's not really that long, so I didn't mind looking it up to read it. I had never heard of it until this topic was brought up, of course, kind of like the rest of the people on the channel. Um, and so since I had never heard of this, I wanted to do a bit of research because, I mean, nothing to do, so I just, you know, did some research. <laughs> um, and, you know, uh, I watched all the other videos of this week that has happened so far and um, listened to their points of view and their opinions and stuff. I usually don't do that because um, what ends up happening is while I'm shooting the video like I am now, I f usually feel like I'm copying people, and, um, I felt like I was going to get away with that one until I started watching Yuka's video, and I would say that I somewhat agree more with her in this, uh, topic, or question, and, um, while I understand what the other ones are saying, um, and I can kind of see where, uh, the person writing this might have been meaning that, and I would find that slightly less offensive, although I find being offended kind of dumb anyway, but, um, just because I say I'm offended doesn't mean I'm like, take it down, or anything, it's just more like, yeah, that's kind of really rude, or weird, <laughs> is my term for the word offended. Um, so basically, um, this read has a bunch of different, like, I guess suggestions, or laws, or something, I don't even know what you would call it, I guess since it's a read, and the word read is kind of, you know, not really laws, I would imagine that these are more suggestions, although some of them are worded in ways that seem almost like laws, and that kind of annoys me. <laughs> um, there's a few other parts of this read that are a little bit odd, and I'm going to touch on them as well, um, there's a problem that happens in the witch community, the witchcraft community, and the pagan community. Um, this happens in pretty much any community, really, that feels like they have some sort of special interest, I guess, or something special about them. Um, cause this happens in the vampire community all the freaking time. And what this thing happening is, is um, people feeling like we are on a more elevated platform than the rest of society. And um, while that might be true, I find it odd to talk about it. And I find it odd to... It's, it's kind of like standing in the mirror and being like, I'm so pretty. Look at my pretty hair. Look at my pretty face. And my pretty, pretty eyebrows. I'm such a good person. Oh, good on me. I'm so good. <laughs> like, it's just weird and creepy to me. Um, to kind of, you know, talk about it. Um, like I said, it might very well be possible. I'm not saying that it's not, and I'm not saying that it is. Um, I just find it odd to, I guess, say that it is, um, for certain. And the kind of tone that I gather from this is the tone of, we are on a more elevated platform than you. And it's kind of what Yuga was talking about whenever she said it's this us against them mentality that I kind of feel like is coming from this. And I understand that the person who wrote this read was not intending to be rude or to be like, ugh, get away from them, those people, <laughs> you know? But, um, I just detected a hint of this notion that I felt like was we are on a more elevated platform than they are. We know things. And, um, I don't know. I find that just odd, like I said. So some of the passages, anyway. Sorry, I'm rambling. Um, is, insofar as the craft of the wise is the most ancient and most honorable creed of humankind. Um, I find that a little odd. I mean, it is a very, very, very ancient, uh, idea of witchcraft. And, um, yeah, it's something that, uh, and many cultures have been looked on 
with honor, like a shaman or a priest or something was looked upon with honor. However, again, <laughs> I find it weird to talk about it, and I, it seems like you're almost in a mirror and just, you know, praising yourself. Um, here's another one. As a witch, thou has power, and thy powers wax strongly as wisdom increases. Therefore, exercise discretion in the use thereof. Um, and some, here's something else with the tone of this writing. Um, you'll realize that it's very theatrical, it's very dramatic, it's very, uh, out there. Uh, and this was written in the 80s, it's not, like, old English on pur purpose. Wait, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not old English because it's from old English. <laughs> it's old English because they wanted to be dramatic and theatrical. And we as witches are dramatic and theatrical. That's part of our re religion, pretty much, or our religious practices, is doing this ritualistic thing and being theatrical as we release our emotions and stuff. Um, so, I mean, I understand, you know, the theatricalness to it. And our spells sound crazy, like too, so I mean, I understand that witches are theatrical, but this just seems a bit much in certain parts for me, I guess. Um, though, here's the phrase that was mentioned, though there are may, blah, though there may be differences among those of the old ways, those who are once born must see nothing and must hear nothing. And similar to what Yuka said, I find the term once born pretty offensive. And Cairo was talking about um, hearing the term once worn in Silver Ravenwolf's book. And I'm very sorry, and this is probably going to step on a billion people's toes, but this is pagan perspective, so deal with it. <laughs> um, whenever I heard Silver Ravenwolf and this topic put together, and I kind of like Silver Ravenwolf a little bit, um, but I don't suggest her. I'm not like... Oh, read Silver Raven Wolf. Oh my God! But um, I suggest people like Scott Cunningham or something. Scott Cunningham. But um, anyway, whenever I heard this topic and Silver Raven Wolf put together, I was like, Oh God, here we go. Because um, Silver Raven Wolf, I find, is very. Um, she's very rude to non-magical people, and what I mean, like Kara said, whenever she said non-magical people, I don't mean that nobody, I don't mean that somebody in the world is not a magical person, because we're all very magical, and I feel that magic is a daily practice for everybody, um, but anyway, what I mean is people who actually practice it, know what they're doing, call it spells, call it magic, um, look further and do it, and you know, study and the, work with it and stuff, and you know, try to learn more, not the people who, um, just blow out candles on their birthday cake and don't even understand that what they're doing is the same, pretty much the same thing as witchcraft. Um, anyway, Silver Raven Wolf has a very dis disdained opinion of people who are non-magical, and um, I remember reading in the Solitary Book of Witches, uh, Book of Shadows thing, uh, that, you know, that big old book, um, I remember reading in one paragraph how she was talking about be careful giving readings to non-magical practitioners because they will become addicted and they will not understand magical workings and their minds cannot comprehend what ours could and blah 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 and it was just almost sickening in a sense because it's like dude why are you elevating your why do you feel the need to find something to elevate yourself um, and again, this might not be the intention of this person. They might not feel this way. Although people can deny things and still feel that way. But who knows, you know. Um, anyway, some more passages that kind of seemed like this to me was, those who follow the mystery should be above reproach in the eyes of the world. <sighs> um, yeah, it's cool that uh, we learned something, but I don't know. That just rattles me for some reason. I'm sorry. It just, it's just odd. Um, those who seek the mystery should consider themselves the select of the gods. For it is they who will lead the race of humankind to the highest of thrones and beyond the very stars. 
I got this hair tonic, and it's a penny, and it'll grow your hair as really good. It grows your hair out real good. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I guess I'm just kind of uh, frustrated and uh, tired of this emotion in the community that I feel like I'm getting because I am so part of many different communities uh, the witchcraft, wiccan community, pagan community, you know um, that community, the vegan community uh, the vampire community um, certain like tarot reading psychic practice certain community things and in all of these I find this constant oh, we know more than the average person, we are better than the average person, we are on an elevated level, and this is where the normal person is. And it's just, like I said, that may be true. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it is. But I find it odd to talk about it yourself. It's kind of like whenever other people say, oh, Cole's a really good psychic, his readings are really accurate, and... Um, his readings are just very descriptive and blah 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 and like they're talking about my readings um, I feel almost weird it's kinda like when someone sings me happy birthday like I feel awkward you know like um, and whenever people ask for a reading I always follow it with a disclaimer of I don't know if this really works I don't know if I'm good at it um, I'm just gonna lay the cards out tell you some stuff um, I'm going to be making a lot of assumptions that's pretty much what tarot reading is is making assumptions um, so, I'm just going to throw all this stuff out here, vomit upwards, basically. If it sticks to anything, great. If you feel fulfilled after this, wonderful, my job was done. And take it as entertaining, take it as real, take it as I don't freaking know. Who knows, you know. Um, that's the disclaimer that I always kind of put on it. And I put on that with my magic and stuff as well, and my talking to spirits and everything. Um, who knows if any of that is actually real or if I'm making it up or whatever, who freaking knows, but, um, I just find it odd to be like, I'm a wizard, and I have all the answers, and come to me, and, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I actually had to cough, but, um, I just tried to make it a funny cough, <laughs> anyway, this is a 12 freaking minute video, so, I'm sorry that I'm rambling, but, yeah, anyway, Thanks for listening to me. Peace and blessings.